was just a night literally out of my dreams. I remember being a seven-year-old kid, you know, writing plays in my living room, to being a teenager and getting my first credit card and maxing it out so I could put on a play. I'm so excited to share the show with audiences because it was so unlike anything I had ever seen in the American theater that I didn't think it would be produced, let alone in New York, let alone on Broadway. It literally comes out of the kind of romanticized version of Africa that a lot of African Americans have. You know, this idea that it is a promised land, that it is the land of our ancestors, which it is. But also, you know, what happens when we leave everything that we've built and we've created here for something else. It's a ride. Anything that you may have that may fall into that category, please feel free to drop it on in and it will be sure to meet you at your final destination. <laughs> This is a first for me tonight. You know, I thought I knew it all. And I realized I don't know anything after watching this. I'm learning about myself through his work. When I was his age, there was nobody. It was pre-Spike Lee. And there were no writers or directors that I could look up to, let alone, you know, gay filmmakers or, or writers that I could look up to. And so it was important for me to pass it on. It really means a lot for Lee Daniels to be behind this. It means that droves of black people are going to witness and hear these words. When people are laughing at something that they find similar, then that shows a commonality that gives them a starting point in which to jump off from. And that's where conversations begin. I would love for the audience to walk away saying, ain't no more self-hate. Nobody use the word the way you can use the word this definitely has a village behind it and fortunately you've got a lot of veterans in that village who have been able to see this project all the way through it's real and it's it's some gonna be some uncomfortableness uh, with truth the way he envisioned the way he see things and the way he tells the story he centers blackness and black people in it shines through his work and when you love black people and you make black art it is truly culture changing and culture shifting there are plays featuring artists of color bipoc artists that are really pushing the fold and jordan has made a tremendous piece that sits right there with the rest of them literally i really hope that i'm inspiring people after me to just shake it up just shake up the cage and because i can you can <laughs>